All right, guys, welcome to Bloody Sunday Season 2, Episode 7. And for this episode, we're going to be playing Hatred, which was released in 2015 on the PC. And I think only the PC. I don't think it made it anywhere else. So, yeah, this was uh, a very controversial uh, game prior to its release. Got an adults-only rating. One of the few games to have achieved that rating. And I believe the only game to have achieved that rating without any sexual content, which was uh, quite the achievement. So yeah, it's a nice symmetric uh, shooter, and you just go on a killing spree. Basically, the main character here just wants to go on a murdering rampage, and that's it. But, oh, there was a lot of crying prior to release of this game. It was quite funny, actually. Um, so let's just, uh, we'll just jump into the first level. Uh, actually, I played this game and beat it when it came out. I remember it being quite hard. Um... <laughs> I'll just stick it on hard anyway. I've got. I've, I've always had this thing about playing games on easy. I, I can't bring myself to do it, even though it's just it's just a showcase of a violent video game. What this series is, I still feel bad about doing it. My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate this world and these the dialogue's hilarious. Feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. And I always wanted to die violently. This is the time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. And I actually do find this game quite funny because it tries so hard to feel dark and edgy and stuff, and it just comes off as freaking hilarious. So, yeah, he doesn't go around killing people. That's all there is to it, and execute them like this. Oh, God. I just cracked his head in. And I just stabbed him in the head. Man, I've, I've not played this in quite some time. But, uh,. It is an okay game. I'd be beat it. It's very short. I think it's like, what, seven levels we saw there on the menu. A uh, bit repetitive. It, it, it's it's okay. I don't think it's terrible or anything. Just the... You know, after the third level or so, you've kind of seen it all. But yeah, there was... Oh, so many tears prior to release of this game. Oh, that's the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, we nearly drowned. We did in tears. It was hilarious. Um, you know, a lot of idiots going. Oh, you know, I, I like I love GTA and Man on and you know as much as the next person. But oh, this game goes too far. Like, are you kidding me? Stop talking out your ass, mate. How? Well, what does this game do that's worse than anything else? What does it do that we haven't seen before? Quite literally nothing. Like, really? Please, uh, uh, explain to me what it does that's so much worse than anything else. Explain to me how it's worse than Grand Theft Auto. Go on. You can kill in Grand Theft Auto. You can rob. Big part of it. If I see you selling drugs and a fucking ice cream, you know? You're also a drug dealer. How is this worse? Oh, right, the police area. I'm gonna get some grenades. He took a grenade in his G. Well, that didn't work. No, oh, well, so... oh, well, no, well, okay, it was a delayed explosion. Blow up this bush shell right here. Oh, will show him how angry I am. I've always struggled with the controls in these sort of games. These lines are... How is it not funny? <laughs> New British dialogue. It's amazing. There are other victims. I'm sending additional units. What's, what's going on? I was about the controls. It's like, I'm controlling them. I'm playing it with the keyboard because I... I found it easier than using a controller, funnily enough. 
so I'm like moving him with like WASD and then like changing his direction with the mouse like aiming stuff and you kind of do that with like the analog sticks if you want to control I, I just no, I just, oh, I've always struggled with these sort of controls you know, this game's a little bit like it was already kind of done before the original Postal game was a bit like this. Oops! Nearly blew myself up there, but... That person's house. I think yeah, what's an actual objective? Exterminate the populace. Alright, so you do actually have to kill everyone inside. Okay, so that was the objective. Oh, the police are on fire. You can actually um, drive as well. Run some people over. <laughs> the noise it makes. Oh, the cops coming after me now. They can kill you pretty damn quick. Oh, he's got a shotgun. I want it. I want the shotgun. I can't remember what sort of weapons are. We've got a pistol here, shotgun, rifle. Um, oh, God. Stamping that guy's head in. Nice. I seem to remember you getting a flamethrower or something at one point. You got a grenade and stuff. God, wow. Just popped his head. I remember, isn't the last level a, a nuclear power plant or something? <laughs> doesn't he make it like, explode or something? <laughs> Destroys everything. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, uh, the shotgun. Going to the store here. Hello, everyone. A respawn point. I think that's if you die, you can just respawn rather than just start over, I think. If I remember correctly. There is a good amount of destructibility as well, actually. It's kind of cool. I think executions is how you heal. Really, there's no, like, health you can pick up or anything. Well, they're really coming after me now. Oh, nice. Now, I heard this was apparently being ported to Switch. I don't know if it ever happened, but I'm all damn believing that would ever happen. I mean, come on, they never made it to PlayStation or Xbox. One of the reasons is because it got an adults only rating in America, which means it can't be released. They've got a strict thing, so is Nintendo. And it's Nintendo! You know? They wouldn't allow something like this on their console. No, I know Nintendo on as strict as they used to be. With this kid-friendly stuff. I know you need to be very strict. They've, you know, they've loosened up a bit. But, come on. They'd have to really tone it down. For it to achieve... My name is the Ryan. what's the other rate in the M rating? What is important is what I'm 
That's equivalent to R18, right, in the UK? Oh, stab in the head. There's a thing here on my map. It looks like the Grim Reaper. I'm curious to know what it is. I'm going to head that way now. I can't get over his, these lines he keeps saying. It's poetry, I'm telling you. What's going on here? It's a gathering of people for some random reason. Shot the shit here. Run! There's a pile of bodies here, and I'm pretty sure this was not me. Someone else going on the killing spree? I did not kill these people. But they just killed me. Yeah, this game is hard. I put it on hard, but the only option was easy. It was not normal. Oh, that's what they were doing. Right, okay, this is what the Grim Reaper sign led to. Is it some sort of funeral? There's a casket in the back of this truck. That's what the gathering was for. I was quite confused. So I just ruined someone's funeral. I'm gonna need a few more caskets. I'm gonna get right on the first level right here. I don't know what difficulty I did when I played through it. I doubt I would have gone on easy. His name is not important. His name is not important. Alright. Oh, throat slit. Up here somewhere. It's in this. Yeah, here we go. Throw a grenade in there. Oh, nice. Old police station. All 
really want to get out the gun. Oh, it's going to blow up. Oh, back to the police station. Don't let me in this car. This is on a specific. Whoa, dude, you mind? You can't drive every car then. Maybe just police cars or something. Both our arms. A lot of cops in this town. Oh God, Jesus. more upstairs. Shotgun's crazy slow. I'll tell you what. I'll have a, just a very quick look at one of the level. Um, let's try downtown. Good morning. 
Yeah, I can't remember this one. Oh, this is maybe where I've got the flamethrower. This guy hates everything. Earn the money inside the bank. Okay. And they got me. Well, I think that'll do it for uh, this episode. So, yeah, I've just been hatred. Like I said, I, I'm, I don't know. I, I really don't even think it's that bad. Really. Like I said, what what makes it worse than GTA? What makes it worse than, worse than Man on... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Don't argue with me on that, alright? Shut the hell up. But yeah, there you go. So that has been a Bloody Sunday Season 2, Episode 7. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.